What's up? It's Bud Gaff again from B-Team at Discord.Live. Uh, we're here again uh, this time to show you how to rig and animate one of the Rainbow Six Siege models. Uh, last time we did the materials, so I'll link that in the description. And um, this is just a hack, basically, that I've figured out to make this easier because weight painting these guys sucks. Uh, if you use automatic weights on them uh, with any armature, it, they just completely fail. Uh, like this. Uh, here's a guy that's having trouble with them. Uh, they do this because there's all these little hooks and gadgets and all this crap on them that uh, that does not weight right. And it just never works out with automatic weights. As soon as you move the arm or the armature, it's, all this stuff flies out. And here's the way that I do it. The correct way to do it, I'm sure, is to very patiently and carefully go and weight paint each individual thing. And uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to import uh, my OBJ yet again uh, and I'll use mute again and scaling down again so got mute now I would go to file user preferences and load the rigify add-on but anyway go find rigify in here check the box and hit save user settings that will give you this which is an armature called human meta rig that I use I'll scale it up and then we're gonna go turn on two things x-ray and x-axis mirror which is in options and then with all of this selected we unselect the arms just these bones here Everything else can be deleted. So you wind up with just these bones. This is all going to make sense soon. Uh, go into orthopedic, enable uh, 3D cursor as your pivot point, and we'll just scoot these up. Click on a bone in edit mode, click on a joint. And do cursor to selected. And we're going to move these a little. Cursor to selected. Move this a little. You see where the joint should be. Cursor to selected and move this down. Over. With your eyeballs. Then you can go here. And adjust them more. Cursor. Move it here. Here. The whole idea here is that you're getting these, the arms, in the correct place. While keeping them symmetrical. There we go. That's pretty good. And I'm going to move these in, more, in a more elbowy place. There. Now, now we use automatic weights. And control P, and with automatic weights. <coughs> Which uh, is done, but you can go ahead down here and alt p to clear the parent on the pants on the straps anything that should not move with the arms there make sure to clear it now we can go into pose mode and we want to put him in a t pose uh, and that will become important later uh, so we're just going to move, uh, select the, your joint again, cursor selected for the pivot point, and move it up. And I know that looks freaking crazy, just bear with me. Same thing here, cursor is selected and move it up. Okay. And then from above, cursor is selected, rotate.
rotate it out to where his arms are straight. Regardless of how hard it looks. Here. And straighten it out. There. There we go. Ta-da. <laughs> He's in a T-pose, whether he wants to be or not. Uh, now we can just start clearing the parent on this stuff and make it go back to where it goes. Like that, we need to go back. This, I think we can do. Yeah. There we go. That looks better, huh? Now this is the only problem, which is that these uh, are separated, and we cannot have that. Um, the exact same problem that uh, Homeboy is having right here. Um, and what you do there, you right-click on it, uh, and you go to Weight Paint, and then you find... The problem is that this is, should all not be parented to the arms. Um, this stuff down here, like at least this bottom row or two of vertices needs to be not parented to the arm. That way it won't fly up like that. So we just go find... You can hold your mouse cursor over the vertex groups window in your properties. And you scroll through and you find the ones that are affecting that area. So this looks like it's doing some damage. We go to set our weight and strength down very low. Well, actually, no weight would be fine here in this case. Set the strength down low and you just want to run along this bottom row here. And put the weight down on this and watch it. There it goes. Back to where it belongs. And I saw there were more than one group affecting this. So I'm just going to go here and do the same thing. I'm going to set the strength up. And really try and get this done. Here we go. All right, I'm just telling it, get back in there. You don't belong here. Okay. That didn't help. If you start to see you're not helping the situation, just stop. This is where a lot of people get caught up, because it's a pain in the ass, really. But we're not going to have to do it much. So... Uh, need more work done here. That looks better. Now I would want to turn the strength down a little because we don't want to really hurt it. And I'm just going to do this just a little. So it's not so drastic. There we go. Right, this is okay. You know, not terrible. Same thing over here. Just gonna find these. Turn the strength up and just smash that back down. dude now you got mute in a t-pose do now is export this to an obj i know what you're thinking it's already an obj and yes you'd be correct but uh we're gonna do it again uh, we're gonna export it to obj name it mute t-pose and we'll put it on the desktop what this does is it applies the modifications that we just made to the mesh. It doesn't include the armatures as well. So when you export it to OBJ, if I were to then have a new file here, 
and go to import OBJ and on my desktop import mute tpos I've got mute in a tpos without having to modify it which is handy here at Mixamo so this is Mixamo.com. It's an Adobe deal. You have to have an Adobe ID, but you can get one for free. So then we just select the character file and we select mute. So here's what Mixamo does. Mixamo takes your mute, which is now in a T-pose, and you tell it where his chin is, his wrists, his elbows, his knees, and his nuts are. You tell it next. Now, this is going to do a skeleton with automatic weight painting. But their automatic weight painting is way, way, way better than uh, blenders. Uh, it, will, it will give you, 90% of the time, a totally usable uh, character with a few little hitches here and there. Uh, he actually looks pretty good um, yeah so we'll just do next now you've got 200 or 300 however many you got a shitload of animations that you can make him do um, you know everything from dancing uh, that's filthy mute uh, fighting um, yeah, it's all here, man. You can make him drunkenly run forward. <laughs> I like that one. And you see, you've got the. You can make it go faster. Uh, you can. You've got an arm space here in case they've got. A lot of the characters have uh, arm pads and stuff that it it just looks wrong unless you adjust this. And you can tell it you only want a few frames if you're only interested in that, or you can want the whole whole bunch of frames and then you can have them do it in place or mirrored okay so now we're just going to download it fbx always use fbx the other ones they work but uh not well if you ever plan on doing anything else with it uh like adjusting anything this skin part doesn't matter and i'll do it at 60 frames a second and i'll download that and that's that's really it uh now when you go back to Blender and you go to Import FBX, Drunk Run Forward, now we've got, you know, you have to scale it up. Hit S when you open it and scale it up. Now you've got Drunk Run and Mute. And, uh, you know, there are some uh, the little problems that I've encountered. Uh, if I go back and select my uh, armature here and go to uh, X-ray again, uh, it makes, uh, uh, you know, it'll make little errors like it always does this, and I don't know why. Uh, it makes his upper arm bone teeny tiny and this forearm bone like massive and that doesn't quite you know work well but uh you just literally go into edit mode and you you can just come in here and move it where it's supposed to be and you don't even have to adjust the weight painting after that you just you know put it right and then when you when you go back, you know, now it's, now it's doing right. Uh, and uh, that's it. Ta-da. If you did the first tutorial, a skinned and rigged and animated mute. Uh, and you can do whatever you'd like with. So once you get him done and you get him back, they you could just go here 
and go into pose mode until it animation clear keyframes and then you could go to pose mode clear transform all and now you've got him back in a t-pose rigged so he's ready to be ready to be posed um, and ready to go so I mean you could See. there you have it so use mix mode to do the weight painting it's way easier uh, and if you want to get good at it once you're done and uh, you've got you know you got them like this now would be the time to go in and carefully uh, carefully adjust all the little mistakes it made, like this, and you know this. Uh, these these shouldn't bend, you know, the radios and stuff. But uh, I mean, as far as you know, making them do the thriller dance, you know, you're good to go. Uh, there you have it. I'll put this blend file in the description so you can have that. And uh, happy blending.